You're listening to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. It is Flannel Friday. I forgot my flannel today. Oh, it's I'm so really sorry. sad. I know I wore flannel really earlier cold. this week. Oh, that's not true. I have a flannel scarf at my desk. So <laughs> it is Flannel Friday, <laughs> and it was fun to uh, to get to visit with the students participating in the Young Entrepreneur Sharing Challenge here yeah. earlier this week, and getting to share that this morning. Uh, with Can we the... share who won? Sure. I know who it was. Metro East. Congratulations, Yay, Metro, East. Metro East. Congratulations. That's exciting. That's a, that's a, a really unique challenge. And uh, I love seeing young people um, put their creative skills to the test, but also uh, learning some great skills for uh, that, I mean, that they'll use now, but also in the future as mm-hmm. well. Um, it was really nice to meet them. Very nice young people from the uh, Lutheran schools here, Lutheran high schools in the St. Louis area. Nice to have St. Paul Farmington with us that day as well. And Lutheran High School North. It is camp week. We're wrapping up camp week today. And and today we finally make it to Montana. I promised it earlier this week and was all excited and realized that we had to hold out until Friday to go to Montana. So we are headed to Trinity Lutheran Camp in Big Fork, Montana. Melanie Reiner is joining us today. She's a program director at Trinity Lutheran Camp. Thanks so much for joining us today, Melanie. Yeah, good morning. I'm glad to be able to, to do this. It's going to be a great time. What's it like at uh, Trinity Lutheran Camp this morning? Uh, that we have about three feet of snow, and <laughs> we have more snow than we've had in in several several winters this time of year. And um, it, yeah, that lake is almost completely frozen over, which doesn't always happen. The last time it did that was thirty years ago. So yeah, it's been quite quite the winter up here. <laughs> wow. wow, just three feet of snow. Hmm. Yeah, just three. Just three. <laughs> A little bit different than summer, though. You don't usually have three feet of snow during the summer, right? Absolutely not. No. (laughs) (laughs) How has Trinity Lutheran Camp made a difference for someone? How have you seen... uh, uh, Tell us a story of of, uh, how Trinity Lutheran Camp has made a difference. Yeah, you know, it's always such a great adventure every summer, um, watching the staff as well as the campers because the staff grows just as much as the campers do and the families they visit. And, you know, the one story that always sticks out to me is a time when there was, it was during our middle school week and one of our counselors, it was his first year counseling and he had this real rowdy cabin of boys and they wanted to, you know, stay up every night. And, and he came into the office and asked me, what do I do? And so I gave him a couple ideas, and and so then the one night, then he's like, okay, guys, we're going to sneak out and go on a night hike. <laughs> and so the the guys were like, okay, okay, we got it. He's like, but we have to be really quiet. You know, we can't, you know, if Mel hears us or any of the other cabins, you know, we're gonna, it's going to be over. We've got to be real quiet and go for this night hike. And so he geared his kids all up. You know, they had their flashlights and you know, shoes, hoodies, everything, and went on this hike and literally it wasn't very far. It was just, you know, in the dark, kind of back behind the cabins on a trail was, was not very far at all. But the counselor did such a great job at making it, you know, building this hype up. They get back to the cabin and, and this one little guy that had really given the counselor kind of a run for his money that whole week, he was like, this was the best night ever. <laughs> <laughs> and then that particular camper ended up... Um, coming back year after year and then eventually was on staff with us for three summers. So, um, and just watching him grow into a young man and, and, and into his future and knowing that camp made a difference and, and it's just been a real exciting journey watching him. So yeah, it's, there's every summer there's stories like that. It's just, it was hard to just pinpoint one, but that's definitely one that stuck out to me. That is so cool that that uh, that transformation from from a rowdy kid to a kid that that now uh, comes back and <laughs> and has yeah. and has fun as a, as a, in a leadership role then. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he knows all the shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> He's great. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes those are the those are the best ones. Right, they know <laughs> the ones with the one. with the uh, secret information. <laughs> right, right, for sure. <laughs> what kinds of uh, unique opportunities are there for for the campers at, at Trinity Lutheran Camp? 
Well, something that I feel is really unique that we have is that we have um, our summer program is broken up into individual weeks. So, like, we have a week that's just fifth and sixth graders and just another week that's just seventh and eighth. And then a week of high school, we have a week of basketball players, a week of volleyball, um, and some third and fourth grade camps, a parent-child camp. And I think that it's really important to do that because we get to really focus on what's the fifth and sixth graders, what are their needs for this week? Because it's different than a high school camper, you know. So we really get to focus in on those and really build those relationships. And something that a lot of our campers, returning campers and staff say, something that is a strength that we have is that sense of family and building a real sense of family. And then we, of course, have all of the traditional camp um, activities. You know, we have swimming in our lake, which is a huge freshwater lake, um, 26 miles long, and it's just beautiful, crystal clear. And, um, you know, kayaking and canoeing, campfire, um, for the high school students, we have a coffee house night, which mm-hmm. is similar to a talent show, but it's a coffee house <laughs> atmosphere with an open mic. And so, yeah, we, we don't have any horse programs at all, but that's okay because a lot of our kids, they already have that experience from other places within the area that we live. So we don't have a horse program. A lot of people ask that because they're from Montana. <laughs> <laughs> if we have horses and we do not have the horses, but we have um, just a lot of unique opportunities just within our our facility. When do campers hear about the love of Jesus at camp, at Trinity Lutheran Camp? Oh, it is in every single thing we do every day, all day long. And I love that because you you get the returning campers, but you get the ones that have never been there, never heard anything about Jesus. And it's just oozing out of, you know, from our kitchen staff to um, our beach and and lake activities to, you know, they really get to hear every day. We have um, our Bible study time where it's just a solid hour with each uh, group of campers and um, and then within their cabin groups and all of our activities throughout the whole day. So it's just a great, great time and atmosphere. And like I said to our, excuse me, our staff grows so much in their faith too, just within one another and they have a morning staff um, devotion to that they go to every morning before they start their day. So everybody is always, it's really important to us as a staff that they're all growing in their faith every day, all day. What are some things, yeah, what are some things that uh, families can be doing now to prepare for, uh, for the upcoming summer camp season? Yeah, so like our registration opens March 1st. Or, or no, it's not, sorry, April 1st, <laughs> April 1st. But like, as far as, like, especially if it's a first time camper, they're thinking about it. If they have the opportunity to go visit the camp um, and go physically see it, that's always really helpful. Um, or to help serve like on one of their work weekends or something that would really help um, the, the camper and the family get to know some of the staff and the atmosphere of where their child would be going for the week. And, you know, just asking other other friends um, if they've been before, for sure, invite a friend that's never been. That's so great and awesome opportunity. You mentioned earlier some of the age ranges of uh, campers, um, it, and so that certainly includes children. What about other opportunities, uh, family camps or special needs? Yeah, we have a family camp in July, and it's right after the 4th of July. It's just a Friday, Saturday, Sunday And that's open to all families. We provide all the food and entertainment. And there's lots of time for families just to play games and enjoy each other as a family. That's in July. And then we also have two songwriting retreats that we started last summer, which are phenomenal. Um, Our pastor, who is also our executive director, Kevin Beltman, he um, is part of those songwriting retreats. He heads those up. He has (laughs) amazing connections with different songwriters across the country that come and they spend the weekend and that's the first part of June. And then we do another one at the end of the summer in um, August. So it's just been really great seeing the camp used for other areas to bring more families to the outdoor ministry. Outstanding. Well, we have just about a half a minute left. How can we find out more about Trinity Lutheran camp and registration for this summer? Yeah. So um, if you just, 
jump over to our website, trinitylutherancamp.org. Um, or, of course, you can email me, Camp Trinity, and I love to talk about camp. So even if you have a fun story or you've ever been there, a great memory, we would love that. And then we're still looking for some summer staff. And um, I know some other camps out there, too, are, and that's at NLOMA, so Naloma, um, dot org, and they can help you, too. So, Melanie, thank you so much for being our guest this week on the Coffee Hour for Camp Week. What a fun week. Uh, thanks for being a part of uh, Coffee Hour Camp Week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great. And I hope to see you both at camp sometime. That would be great. <laughs> that would be awesome. Check them out at <laughs> trinitylutherancamp.org. That does it for Camp Week on the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. <laughs> Coffee Hour with Andy and Sarah is a production of KFUO. To support the Coffee Hour and KFUO Radio, visit KFUO.org. You can also text KFUO to 41444 or send an email to gifts at KFUO.org. And you can call us at 800-844-0524. KFUO. Christ for you. Anytime. Anywhere. Anywhere.